all, I would like to thank God for giving us this opportunity. And uh, secondly, I would like to thank all uh, our press and media uh, fraternity over here. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, okay, uh, firstly, I would like to uh, give a brief this, uh, profile of this study group uh, who, who is organizing this uh, second branch competition this year. The Tati Group Enterprise, uh, with its headquarters based at Tupiama Village, Kohima, uh, was formed in the year 2017 with uh, some like-minded persons like us over here uh, to foster unity, harmony, peace, human and eco economic development uh, towards to bring human and eco economic development towards greater heights. Uh, the group was formed to promote upcoming and struggling artists and youths in Nagaland. The Tati group uh, has been empaneled uh, under Tafma and has organized various shows uh, in the past too. Talent sounds towards promoting music, youth and tourism in Nagaland also. The Tati group enterprise with the initiative to save wildlife in Nagaland started the first open bench race tournament at Tupepezu Resort Tupema Village, uh, one of its first, I believe, in, uh, in the entire Northeast India during the Hornbill Festival 2022. Its main initiative was is to change the mindset of people from hunting into sports, where wildlife be preserved and to make people shoot professionally with an initiative shoot to preserve. Uh, this year in the uh, upcoming event uh, during the Hornbill Festival 2023, we have categorized the bench press shooting competition into two categories. One will be the 0.177 caliber, which is of uh, a little short distance. And the second category is the open category where uh, 0.22 caliber, 0.25, 0.30, and if uh, 177 caliber uh, participants want to participate there also, they, they can also participate. The distance for, uh, and the range given to 0.177 caliber participants are uh, 20 meters, 35 meters, and 50 meters. And for the open category, it will start from 50 meters, uh, 75, ranging to 100 meters, uh, which is almost equivalent to the length of a football field. Uh, the days on the event will be uh, will be holding the event on the sixth and on the seventh. The sixth will be the opening, and the seventh will be having the final rounds. Uh, our main partners and events for this is uh, this event is a government government of Nagaland tourism department. Our prize sponsors are Mr. Johnny Rongmai, who is the uh, current joint CEO of uh, NSDMA, government of Nagaland, and uh, the second prize sponsor is Mr. Jesse Kilezumu, plus one contractor. Our co-sponsors are uh, Prissy Hall Sports India. We have given up a banner over here also. Uh, the Preciol Sports India, they, they are so graciously, uh, they are so graciously willing to sponsor us to, uh, for the 0.177 caliber with their newly launched PX100 Benchrace X3 marker, that is their air rifle, which they'll be uh, sponsoring, which they'll be presenting, presenting to the 0.177 caliber champion. Uh, we also have uh, Vitonio who is the uh, managing director, Pezu Resort to Pema, uh, who will be our venue, venue partner. Big Life Tent House as our event partner, Innovations as our printing partner, and Richard Productions. On the uh, first day, our timing uh, arrival of the participants will be at, at 10 a.m., briefing will be at 10.30, and the shooting tournament will start at 12 noon. Uh, on the second day, the final round will start at 10 a.m. The uh, venue from, uh, from where we are organizing this tournament is at uh, Pezu Resort Tupema, which is uh, under Kohima District, Nagaland. And our, for our extra vegans at night, I think uh, I'll let my friend take that part. Okay. Thank you for the time. Uh, this is the fourth time we are organizing a Hornbill Festival at Tupema Village. Since uh, we have been working uh, for several years with uh, artists, we usually work with the upcoming artists and struggling artists, so we used to give them a platform 
So when the participants come, they will be holding up at the resort. On day six, that will be arrival. So on day six evening, they will be holding up at uh, Tupuma village, some of them. So at the evening, the participants might get bored or after traveling and shooting and so on. So just to ease their mind or just to refresh their mind, we are going to give uh, an extravagance a night where the participants will also be given a chance to at least do the karaoke. And then there will be some young upcoming uh, artists who will be performing for the participants. So line up for the extravagance night. The artists are Kizia Semi, Angap, Runo Lee, and JV Kelly. So for the extravagance night, four of them will be performing for the artists. Thank you. How many players have so far? Uh, as of now, uh, 23 players have confirmed. That is uh, one from Assam, who is uh, Zimik V. Ngayan. He is the champion of uh, last year's 0.177 caliber. And the open category uh, champion, Mr. Kejale Teokire, who is from Kohima district in itself, he will, uh, he will also be participating. And as of now, 23 participants have confirmed. In addition to my colleagues, uh, since this is the uh, uh, first in Northeast India, as you mentioned, yes. so uh, like how, how many from outside uh, that has been expected to participate in this event? From outside the state, till now we have got, uh, as I said earlier, Zimik, he was the uh, uh, champion of last year, so he has confirmed his participation and then he has confirmed that he'll be uh, coming along with two, two more participants from Assam. As we have been discussing uh, and talking over with some friends from Mizoram, but they have, they have not confirmed yet to come. But we still have some days to, so hopefully they'll make it during this uh, second edition too. Can you also highlight on the uh, registration fees? Registration fees, uh, for the 177 category, the registration fee is rupees uh, 3,000, and for the open category, it is 5,000. Uh, why this uh, edition, this year edition, is cut down to only two days, and for us, one more of these are no benefits and no This year, uh, say. Why we have cut down the uh, activities there at Tukhema was there are so many activities happened here in Kohima itself. And then just because uh, Tukhema is a little far from Kohima also, so uh, even if we organize other activities just for some small activities, people or tourists don't usually come down there. Uh, those tourists who are stationed there at Tukhema, some few tourists, uh, they usually stay down there at Tukhema, that is at Tukhema Resort and Tukhema uh, Tourist Village. So those people come to participate or uh, during those traditional activities that we hold there. But uh, this year we have cut those down and included only this 177 caliber because uh, we, we thought that uh, it would be good if we totally segregate this from other activities. And what about female players? Any female players? Uh, as of now, uh, there are no female players, yes. Is it open to them as well? It's open to all, yeah. Will there be a category? Uh, no, uh, as we have seen that uh, even in races, everything, there are no different categories given to the women. So over here too, they uh, won't be giving any categories for the women as well. So registration is still open? Yeah, the registration is still open. Uh, we have given uh, till the 5th. So registration is open till the 5th. Of December, yes. Yes, yes. Since this is the last year, yes. Uh, is it going to be a second edition? I, I just want to know how uh, this activity has been so far an impact to uh, over the time. Uh, see, Did we have. Okay, thank you so much for the question. We have uh, just started this last year. And as uh, we begin this last year, we have seen that uh, so many villages, even during our, in our constituency itself, they have started banning these uh, ear guns to, in hunting itself. Because 
I, I believe that hunting with air guns is uh, destroying our, the birds, mainly the birds here also. So after we started this program, most of the villages in our constituency, and then I've also seen over, over the uh, daily papers also that many areas they have started banning this air gun, mainly for in sh sh or hunting. So I believe that this is also one of the impact that uh, this is one of the main reason and I, I believe that it's spreading because of this tournament itself also. So what, I, uh, what we want to say is that just because of this tournament, uh, many people they are throwing away their guns or surrendering. We have seen in the uh, media also uh, that they are surrendering their guns also, which are very costly actually. So instead of doing that uh, or hunting, why don't our challenge is that why don't they come into this field where uh, it is actually counted as a sport? Yeah. So on this um, short to preserve, how was your response last year that the opinion was shown on this? Uh, even uh, during our last year's event, we had around uh, 28 participants. Mostly for the participants were mostly from Kohima. And I believe that uh, I, I haven't seen them but what uh, commitment we have got from that is that they as our uh, see our uh, Ang angami youth organization has also given a directive that uh air gun hunting with air gun will be banned it's in its uh, jurisdiction likewise i believe that most of the participants last year were from kohima district itself so i believe most of them are going through the uh, directions given by Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.